I'm Pastor Steve. Welcome to Victory Harbor. Let's worship the Lord today. He's awesome. Thank you for being in our service today. Today's sermon nugget is even if. Sometimes in life we run into them situations where it looks like we're at a point of this, this pure desperation. But it don't matter. Even if we're in that point, we serve a deliverer. Today's scripture comes from Habakkuk 3. We're going to read verses 17 through 19. Fig trees may no longer bloom or vineyards produce grapes. Olive trees may be fruitless and harvest time a failure. Sheep pens may be empty and cattle stalls vacant. But I will still celebrate because the Lord God is my Savior. The Lord gives me strength. He makes my feet as sure as those of a deer and helps me stand on the mountain. Even if everything is failing, God is still in control. Even if the storm is raging, even if your little boat is so frail and it seems one minute you're up on a 30-foot crest of a wave and the next minute you're down in the bottom of the trough of the wave, maybe the wind is howling, maybe the waves are so turbulent, maybe, just maybe, all your sails are battered and destroyed. Maybe just it looks like your boat's going down, your ship is going to sink. Maybe nothing but disaster awaits you. Even if we need to remember something here. The disciples went through the same thing. When they were out on the sea, the waves were high. The wind was blowing. The ship was taking on water. It looked like they would sink. But out there walking on the water, Jesus was coming. He came and as soon as he got in the boat, the waves laid down. The wind quit blowing. The boat quit taking on water. My God, even if we're in a storm, we'll deliver you if we'll only learn to trust Him. Maybe, just maybe, even if you're like that leper that's standing there waiting for Jesus to come down the mountain. Even if you have a death sentence on you like this leper does. He had no hope that the doctors had given up. He was only looking forward to his skin turning white. His fingers falling off. His toes falling off. His nose falling off and death. But worse than that, he couldn't have social contact with people because he was a leper. He had a death sentence. Maybe the doctor or the devil's trying to put a death sentence on you. Maybe he's trying to tell you it's hopeless. You're helpless. There's no deliverance for you. But just like that leper who went up to Jesus and said, If you will, you can heal me. And Jesus said, I will. If you're in those desperate situations, even if all hope is gone, just come to Jesus. He will heal you. Even if all the enemies have surrounded you, all the surrounding towns have been destroyed by this enemy, just like Hezekiah. Hezekiah went and poured his heart out to God and he was delivered even if enemies are surrounding you. Go to the Lord. He will send His angels to protect you. Even if it's a time of famine, there's no food in the cupboard. There's no food in the refrigerator. Remember one thing. Even if you're at that point of desperation, of starvation, my Lord took a few loaves of bread and a few fish, fed 4,000 one time, 5,000 another. My God is able, even if you're full of thirst, you're thirsty, physically thirsty for water and there's no water. If you're in a desert, I remember the Israelites when the Lord spoke to the rock and a river come flowing out of it. 
So even if you're in that situation, our Lord is able to take care of you. Even if there's a giant in your path, it may not be a physical giant. It may be something going wrong. It may be finances. It may be sickness. It may be bigger than Goliath was to David. But just remember, even if you're facing that giant, my God is the one that guided the stone that killed Goliath. He will take that out of your life if you'll only trust Him. He will deliver you. Even if your best friends are gone. Even if every friend is gone. Even if you're so desperate and lonely. Just remember one thing. My God is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Even if you're heartbroken, full of sorrow, tears are streaming down your face. The Word promises that Jesus will dry our tears. Even if Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane was betrayed by a kiss. Even if they took him before the Sanhedrin and beat him unmercifully, plucked out his beard. Even if they sent him to Pilate's hall. Pilate said, I find no fault in the man. But the Jews said, if you set this man free, you're no friend of Caesar. Even if Pilate had him beat unmercifully, it was for our healing. Even if they put that crown of thorns on his head and beat it in, it's for the protection of our mind. Even if Jesus had to carry the cross up the hill, even if they drove nails in his hands, and feet. Even if they ridiculed and mocked him, even as he hung his head in death and said, it is finished. Even if they put him in the tomb, rolled the stone away to seal the tomb, put guards in front of it, even if it looked like it was a desolate situation. Just remember one thing. Sunday's on the way. Sunday's coming. The power of God shattered the opening to the tomb, shattered the stone. My Lord was resurrected for one reason, for you to be saved. Have you accepted Him as your Savior? Even if you're lost, He can save you. Even if you're heading for hell, he can change your destiny. Change it to heaven. Have you accepted Him as your Savior? Let us pray. Lord, we just thank You today for Your mercy. Thank You, Lord, even if which situation we may be in. You're there to deliver us. You're there to set us free. You're there to break the chain. I ask You, Lord, to be merciful to that one that's closest to falling in the pit. Save that one, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Even if your world is wrecking this morning, my Lord is able to calm it down and straighten it up. Just remember, He loves you. God bless you. Thank you for being our servant.